Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm going to share with you a lot of new makeup products and just share my opinion about them. Is it good? Is it not good? And I know it can be very very confusing with like new makeup products because you never know if the products are going to be good or not because they are new and you haven't heard too much about them yet. So I thought I would just share with you a lot of new makeup products and share my opinion about them. The products I think are worth picking up and the products that I just think you can just skip on. So if you think this sounds like a cool idea, then just keep on watching. So I'm going to start with a few drugstore makeup products because I know we all love some good drugstore makeup products. So I'm going to start with these two concealer palettes. Uh, this is the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover. And then we also have the Maybelline Master Camo. Camo camo corrector they're pretty much like the same thing you definitely do not need both of them so i have tried both of them a lot just to kind of see which one i would recommend because most of us are probably not going to buy both of them so in this l'oreal kit you get three uh, skin tone colors and then you get one lavender and one green shade and the maybelline one you get um three or four skin tone color one shimmery highlight and then you also get one green color. I personally prefer the L'Oreal palette over the Maybelline one because this has better coverage. It's a little bit creamier. These uh, skin tone colors I've used a lot and they cover so so well but then this palette I have tried this a couple of times and it's just been like a meh product. It's nothing special. It's okay but I feel like most countries have L'Oreal and Maybelline, so it would be like, which one should you pick? I would say go for the L'Oreal one over this one, um, it's just my opinion. But I have tried to do some cut creases with this concealer palette, and it works so nice for cut crease looks. So I do I do like it, but I prefer the L'Oreal one over it, so I would recommend that one. Then Maybelline came out with some brow products, which I thought was so nice, because they had a collection of brow products. And they were like, okay, like they worked, but they weren't amazing. So when they came out with new brow products, I was so excited. So they came out with these micro pencils, the Brow Precise Micro Pencils, and also the Brow Precise Brow Fiber Filler. And I did try uh, these on my for full face of first impression video. So you have seen some of these products in action. I actually do think that these Maybelline brow products are really, really good. I had one issue with the brow pencil which is so annoying <laughs> and that is that it breaks re really, 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 really easily which is really annoying because it comes in this type of a packaging which like Anastasia Brow Wiz, NYX Micro Brow Pencil, Urban Decay Brow Beater, so many brow pencils come in this packaging but this one, this like the consistency of this one is so soft that it breaks so easy. So if you have like this amount of product out, just look at it right now. I could just take it off like that. And that does not happen with my other brow products. So I would say if you buy this and you have the same experience as me, you should just have like a tiny bit up and then it works amazing. But if you take it too high up and do your brows, it's gonna just fall off which is really annoying. Then the brow filler is just a brow gel and this has a really really cool brush on it. It has like fibers on it and I personally have been using this one a lot lately. It's it's good stuff you guys. I have the color soft brown in this one as well and it's just a nice color. I just I, I like it. I think these brow products from Maybelline are really great. You can get really really nice brows using them. Yeah, I think it's a thumbs up for me. Then Maybelline also came out with this Master Strobing Liquid. And I also tried this one in the full face of first impression video. So you can see how this works in action. I have the color Medium Nude, which I wish I got it in a lighter shade so I can use it actually like as a highlight. This one is a little bit too dark, but it's so pretty to blend in with your foundation and with your primer to use like on top of your cheekbones or like in this area just to get that nice like bronzy glow. This is a beautiful product. Then probably on to my favorite, favorite launch uh, lately or there are multiple different launches. So Eva has absolutely killed it lately. So Eva is just an amazing brand and you guys know, as I said, I, I talk about products even though I like them or if I don't like them, if they're sponsored or not, doesn't really matter at all. I, I say my opinion no matter what. I don't get paid to say anything. But these So Eva products, I am so in love with. They came out with these strobe palettes which is so cool because 
They are really, really unique and a little bit different than your regular highlight palettes. If you have been wanting like the Anastasia highlight palettes, you should definitely check out these because they are less expensive, but they're just as beautiful, super pigmented. You get really like highlight on fleek when you use this. And I did use it in my last uh, full face first impression video. I feel like I reference to that video a lot, but I tried a lot of these products in that video. And they're so cool because two of the palettes, like the Spring Spectrum is like a holographic palette. So you get like a yellow, a purple, a like blue color. You just get really cool shades. So if you want to do like some cool like Instagram makeup looks, you should definitely check those out. Also this Winter Spectrum is also really cool. Most like versatile, most like everyday product is definitely the summer spectrum it's beautiful it's absolutely gorgeous i think these highlight palettes are really really good and then the, they also came out with this cream contour spectrum and i'm not the biggest cream contour person at all i personally don't like cream contouring that much but this one is the best one i've tried if you haven't wanted to cream contour but you're a little bit scared of it and things like that this is so so good as you can see i've used it a lot. This is actually like my everyday makeup drawer right now because I just really, really enjoy using it. I would say the colors are absolutely gorgeous. They're so, so natural and I love like the contour shade. is like, it's not too dark. It's not too warm and orangey. It's just a perfect shade and then you can also warm up your skin with some other shades. It's just a good cream contour palette and it's the best cream contour palette I've tried. Sleeva so eyeshadows amazing 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 my absolute favorite out of these is the matte palette because this is just oh my god can we just this is an all matte eyeshadow palette but it has all of your essentials it has a nice like creamy beige color it has perfect transition shades has some really nice warm tone orangey red colors have a plum a like rusty brown color. It has absolutely everything you will ever need for the perfect everyday makeup look. I love it. This is my new favorite palette. I love it absolutely so much. Then they also have the matte spectrum which is in my opinion you don't need both of these. You definitely don't need both of these because they are pretty similar even though you get more shades in this. But if I hold this on top of the green colors as you can see the colors are pretty similar so you definitely do not need both of these palettes, but I really, really enjoy this as well. It has some pretty, like, peachy, mauve orange colors. But it also has some green, some blues, and it's just so such a cool palette. And they're all matte as well. Really pretty, but for an everyday look, I would definitely just grab this one. It's amazing. And then they also came out with the Sweet Glamour palette. This one is super new. I'm not sure if they actually have launched it yet because I got it in the mail, like, three or four days ago. But as you can see, <laughs> this palette is just a spring lover's dream. It has like the perfect pastels, colors, also has some really pretty peachy colors. It's just absolutely beautiful. It makes me so excited about spring looking at this palette. Then highlighters are so popular right now. I feel like every brand is just putting out highlighters right now, so it's kind of hard to know which ones you should try, which ones you should just stay away from. But MAC came out with these new extra dimension Ooh, highlighters, which these are absolutely gorgeous. One of the highlighters are so stunning for everyone. Like, you can wear this to school, you can use it to a party. It's beautiful. This is the color Double Gleam. And this is, in my opinion, the prettiest one in the collection. It just is such a pretty light, like vanilla, intense highlight. And then my other favorite is the color called Beaming Blush. Which is so weird because when you look at it, it kind of, in some light, looks a little bit rosy. And then in some other lights, it kind of looks golden. But I feel like whenever I use this on my cheekbones and also when I swatch it, it definitely pulls more gold. So it's kind of a weird name for it. Then we have these two, which are definitely more like out there. They're definitely not for the everyday person. Um, and this is called Show Gold and Soft Frost. So the color called Show Gold is not gold, really. When I use this on my cheeks, it goes pure, like, pink. <laughs> it's like a pinky rose glitter, almost. It, it's not, like, chunky glitter, but it definitely goes very intense, and you almost can see, like, really, like, intense shimmers on your cheekbones. So this is for, like, pictures, for, like, photo shoots. This is, like, more of a special product. Um, just so you guys know that, uh, it's pretty crazy. Then we have the color called Soft Frost, which 
it's definitely like a like lavender purpley highlight. This one is really cool because this one doesn't have like that glitter that the Show Gold one has. This is just more of like a satin um, shimmer, but it goes very, very lavender on your skin. It's like a true like purpley lavender color. Then MAC also came out with these scrub creams. They have pretty much every color they will need. <laughs> so they have like the gold light, the silver light, the peach light, the pink light, and the red light. So you have every color that you will possibly need. <laughs> so the original strobe cream is like a vanilla champagne pearl color. Um, so MAC came out with like new ones that has a little bit of a different color. And, and I know if you have like a darker skin tone, uh, the strobe cream can be a little bit too like pearly white on your skin. So I, it's so cool that they came out with these. And especially the gold light is the one that I think is like the best out of them because this is like the one that I feel like most people will try. It's definitely not super gold. I also used this one in the full face of first impression. Just gave me a very very nice glow and it's perfect if you have a little bit more of a color. They just give you such a nice healthy glow to your skin. And then you have these pinky ones which I'm like you definitely do not need all of these. They're pretty similar once they're on your cheeks. I feel like they could just like release one of them. They didn't need all of these. Uh, it's kind of confusing which ones you, you should try because like red light it sounds so like crazy but it is actually really really subtle and beautiful uh, but I really like the peach light it's like a, just a soft peach color and um, so I think all in all I think these strobe creams are really great uh, I'm not sure if I think that they had to release all of these shades I think it's cool that they released some new strobe cream because it, this is like one of their best selling products so I definitely think that's cool um you definitely don't need all of them. That's just what I'm trying to say. <laughs> MAC also came out with these liquid lipsticks. They relaunched their liquid lipstick line and they just changed the formula and this formula is amazing. This formula I was like so shocked about. This is super comfortable on the lips. It stays on really, really well. It's amazing. <laughs> I just love uh, the way that this just feels on my lips. It's so comfortable, so beautiful, super pigmented. You should definitely check out these MAC liquid lipsticks. I have the color Espresso, and it's just a really cool, like, dark, deep, browny, gray color. It's definitely in a unique shade, but they have a bunch of nice, like, earth tones, so you can definitely find some good nudes. But I just think this is such a cool color. I don't think I have anything like it. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Stone lipsticks. If you have been wanting like a liquid lipstick version, this is a cool one. Let's talk some perfumes. So I have three new beautiful scents that released this spring. I have the Black Opium from uh, YSL. This is the Flower Shock version. You also have the Giorgio Armani C. This is the Rose Signature scent. And then you also have this one, which, ooh, this has a weird name. This is the Lancome, this is the La Vie Est Belle, something something. This is the new flower scent. Things called something with like a bouquet or something like that. It's like a flower scent. All of these has a flower scent to them, so that's just how it is in the springtime. Brands always <laughs> release like flower scents. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of flower scents, to be quite honest. I either like them to be very warm and cozy and like spicy like I love the original black opium for example and I also love the original sea perfume I love those types of scents like more like musky and a little bit deeper but I also do like a nice fresh fruity scent sometimes just for the summer I just think it's really nice if you're thinking of buying a new perfume I would say uh, go for the black opium flower shock this one is my favorite out of these three and this is the one that I've been using so much lately Love original black opium. It's amazing, but this one is just so much more Lightweight and it's more fruity. I feel like I can't smell too much of like the flower scent It's more like of a fruity beautiful scent. It's so it's it's so so good I hope that they make this like permanent because this is amazing. It's so amazing My other one that I really really like is the Lancome one. This is just a nice flower flower scent, but also me that don't really like flower scents too much can wear this and, and I do like it. And I feel like this is just a really nice scent for like a like a spring party. If you're going out, it's just a perfect like spring scent. And it also kind of smells like a good like shower gel. Almost like a nice like flower scented shower gel. It just smells fresh, clean, spring-like. 
it smells good. It's definitely just a little bit different than what I'm normally used to. But I, I like it. I really do like it. But this one, this is the C perfume and this is the Rose Signature. I'm just gonna say it right out. If you like the original C perfume, that doesn't mean you're gonna like this. Because this is super rose scented. I do not really like the scent of roses. I have a few products that I like the scent of roses from, like the Lush Rose Argan Body Conditioner. Love the rose scent of that one. But pretty much everything else that smells like roses, I'm just like, ugh, I don't like it. I really don't like it. This one has a very intense rose scent, and I'm not the biggest fan of it. So, I'm thinking of the giving this one away to like a family member or a friend or even do like a giveaway on it. Now I feel like I've been babbling on for so long but I hope you guys like this video and find it helpful if you have been wanting some of these new makeup products but you're like unsure if you will like them, if they're good or not. I hope I gave you a little guideline on what I think. So yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!